There's only one thing we got to worry about. Don't get too close to this line. Are you not coming back through? No, I'm busy. He's the only one that might get suspicious. Oh. Liv might have a point, you know. Even if she's half feral, she's not stupid. I don't want anything to do with his dirty money. It's all very well being moral, but it doesn't put a roof over your head, does it? What else is she going to do with it? Buy one of them monster trucks with wheels the size of a house? Yeah, if she wants to, yeah. Well, it's probably a better idea than that old wreck she was on about doing up, but still. You might be better off encouraging her to invest it properly. What, for a house for us, you mean? Oh, really? We'd just be lodgers. God help us. You know how insecure she is? Well, what if we found a place that we could afford? That she could afford, you mean? It'd be in her name, yeah, or in a trust or whatever. I I'm not trying to pull a fast one here. You really think I'd rip off your little sister? No, you better not. Well, it might do the world a good. It's a bit of security, isn't it, like putting down roots? Might even stop her being an almighty pain in the backside. I'm joking, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Just think about it, that's all I'm saying. I'm just sure what's going on about it, Robert. I already said no. I don't just want him dead, I want him erased, cut off, like he never existed, you get me? Yeah, I get you. I just want us to be happy and living with your mum and your little sister, all crammed in, taking it in turns to use the bathroom. It's not exactly how I imagined it would be. <laughs> well, so it's a bit crowded for you here, is it? Because everywhere I turn, there's a woman that you got off with. There is nothing going on between me and Rebecca. Yes, I might have led her on a bit, but it was only because I was trying to get Andy off the hook. Yeah, well... If it was the other way around, you'd be the same. Yeah, I'd be beside myself, but I'd, I'd believe you. Come on, you know how I feel about you. No one even comes close. So we're good. You know, you are such a wind up. <laughs> Just give it up, I know you too well. <laughs> and how to disable a car. It's pretty basic, isn't it? And when you're an intrepid traveller like myself, it's not always a garage around the corner. Uh huh. What in the wilds of North Ibiza? It can get pretty sketchy out there, I'm telling you. If you want to stay around here, the mill's our best option. We can make a mend. I want to live in a bit out shell while we do it up. We'll stick a bit of tarp up, we'll be all right. Since when was the last time you slept rough? I'm stopping with you all that, aren't I? What else would you call that? <laughs> oh, come on, you can't keep having leaving dues just to blag free drinks, you know. It turns out there's more keeping me here than I thought. You're hanging around, then? Uh, well, not just that. He's moving in. That's all right with you. That's brilliant. See, all you needed was a little push. Yeah, OK, OK, no need to go overboard. I'm not some giddy teenager. And you and I still have some bridges to build. Hmm? 